and uh, good morning to everybody here and online. Um, I'm in this short, brief uh, um, presentation. I want to talk about um, new tools for comput computation of uh, land surface temperature in uh, uh, GRASS GIS. Uh, land surface temperature, or ILST, LST is uh, considered quite a reliable indicator for urban heat island phenomenon. And uh, LST is usually measured using satellite or airborne uh, thermal sensors. Uh, the problem is that uh, these sensors uh, have quite rough uh, spatial and temporal resolution and uh, sometimes even clouds can be, um, pose an uh, obstacle to, to, to um, sense or, or measure uh, this uh, uh, data. So we developed a new tool uh, for calculation to calculate LST in GRASS GIS using physical principles. And uh, it is uh, implemented, uh, implemented in GRASS GIS as RLST for raster data and V.LST for vector 3D CD models. Uh, uh, this model is quite simple. It uses several uh, uh, input parameters. One of them, or the most important, is solar irradiance that is calculated also in GRASS GIS using R.Sun. Uh, this module is uh, part of the uh, standard distribution of, uh, of GRASS. And also uh, V.Sun solar radiation model that is full 3D uh, solar radiation model that is not part of the standard distribution of GRASS. So on you know, this picture you can see the 2D uh, uh, version of LST calcul calculation or, or a model that is uh, calculated for, for uh, urban data. Uh, and uh, here I want to show you examples uh, how, um, so, uh, how LST can be calculated for 3D CD model. So uh, you can see here on the left uh, orthophone map of, of the, our study area, uh, sample of 3D CD model. And the procedure is quite simple because first you, will you need to calculate solar ir irradiance using V dot sun uh, in this case. And then using uh, uh, V dot LST script, you can calculate uh, LST uh, values. So uh, this is uh, a solar radiation map. Uh, this, uh, these are three time horizons uh, for uh, uh, on the le upper left side is uh, uh, at uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, then there is noon. And on the right, uh, uh, lower right, there is uh, uh, evening uh, at uh, uh, 17 or, or 5 p.m. So uh, you can see that uh, for buildings, uh, you have different values of solar ir irradiance that are directly translated to, to uh, land surface temperature. So uh, the result is here. So you can see that uh, some buildings uh, in the morning have more uh, um, higher temperature, higher temperature on facades than on roofs during the noon. Uh, uh, you can see on the lower left uh, uh, picture that uh, roofs have more, uh, are hotter, and the evening uh, is the opposite of the, of the morning's uh, situation. So uh, using this model, you can calculate uh, LST, then you can mm, uh, take some, some preventing or mitigating uh, measures to, to mitigate urban heat island phenomenon, to use maybe roofs with a lower albedo, uh, or higher, sorry, higher albedo, or, or you can use different materials to, to, to uh, decrease uh, temperature of the mm, building materials. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you are interested in this uh, uh, topic, uh, you can find here three uh, papers. Uh, the first one is uh, published within this conference, and the, the next two uh, have been already published in uh, scientific journals. Thank you very much.